Hello. Today we'll be looking at another MEL chemistry experiment where we'll test the reactivity of metals. In this experiment, the chemicals we will need are copper sulfate, tin chloride, sodium bisulfate, and zinc. We will also need some water as uh, well as two vials or test tubes, a graduated syringe, and a measuring spoon. Firstly, we are going to prepare a copper sulfate solution by mixing a small spoon of copper sulfate with 4 millimeters of water. Next, we prepare a tin chloride solution by mixing tin chloride with sodium bisulfate. We next put zinc rods in the two solutions. We will then leave both vials for 15 minutes whilst observing and recording the chemical reactions that take place. You can see that the zinc reacted with a blue copper sulfate solution on the left to produce a thin layer of metallic copper on the zinc rod. On the right, however, the zinc reacts much more rapidly with tin chloride solution producing a thick forest of metallic tin nasals or dendrites. Some metals are more active than others, and the order in which they are arranged is called the metal reactivity series. If you start with the most reactive metals on the left side of the table, the least reactive ones would be on the right. 
Zinc, for example, is further on the left than copper and will always be more active than copper, as we have seen in this experiment. The most active metals on the left of the series include lithium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and zinc. These react very actively with many other chemicals to produce different useful compounds. The less active the metals on the right include copper, mercury, silver, platinum, and gold. These hardly react with most other chemicals, but as a result, they are useful when you need a more stable metal that will not degrade or change. Thank you for watching.